Hello everyone and welcome back to your favorite series on this channel, designing thumbnails like your famous YouTubers. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how I crafted a thumbnail inspired by Ryan Trahan in Photoshop. But before we delve into the process, let's first take a moment to examine an example. When we analyze this Ryan's thumbnail, we can identify three main focal points. The primary focus is undoubtedly Ryan himself. Secondly, attention is drawn to the prominent building featured in the image. Lastly, there's the distinct iOS widget, a recurring element in many of his thumbnails. All right. Let's begin by creating a new document with the standard dimensions of 1280 by 720 pixels. Next, I'll delete the blank white layer since it's not needed at the moment. After that, I'll uh, drag and drop the McDonald's restaurant image that I found online. I believe it fits well and has a similar aesthetic to the Starbucks one. I'll position it around here. I think this placement should work perfectly. I've also found this excellent image of Ryan on Google, but before using it, I need to remove the background. Fortunately, I already have a version with the background removed from the website remove.bg. So I'll simply drag and drop it into the other image, make a selection and duplicate the layer underneath it. I do this because the remove.dg website doesn't provide the image at full resolution. Now that we uh, have Ryan without the background, I'll drag and drop him into the document we created earlier. As you can see here, the image is quite large, so I'll need to resize him slightly to ensure he fits our canvas perfectly. Here I noticed some issues with Ryan's left shoulder, so I'll fix it using the content aware tool. If you have the AI tool in your Photoshop, you can definitely use that as well. Additionally, I felt that the shoulder appeared too large, so I began removing some parts of it um, using the eraser tool. I'll try to maintain realism as much as possible. I think this adjustment looks good for now. What's missing here is the left part behind him. So I'll drag and drop this AI generated image to fill up the space. Now, I believe the sky needs to be more vibrant. To achieve this, I'll select the polygon lasso tool and start making a rough selection around the sky. Once the selection is complete, I'll delete it. Next, I need to fill up the space with this sky asset, so I'll drag and drop it into place, ensuring it fits naturally in the scene. Then, I'll duplicate it for the left side. However, I notice that the sky isn't fully extending over the area, so I'll use Content Aware Fill to fill in the gaps. Now for added realism, I'll drag and drop this cloud overlay onto the sky. I'll change the blending mode to screen so it blends seamlessly with the blue sky. I'll duplicate the cloud overlay onto the other half of the thumbnail and use a soft brush to uh, erase any unwanted parts. Next, I want to make the McDonald's shop stand out even more. I'll create a layer underneath it and use a white brush to paint some highlights. For um, additional realism, I'll duplicate the McDonald's restaurant layer and add an inner glow effect to it. Perhaps I'll also slightly reduce the opacity for a more subtle effect. Now, using a camera raw filter, I'll remove some of the blues from the image to simplify and make it more eye-catching. Next, I'll add some greenery to the thumbnail by incorporating a tree and some grass. I'll apply a Gaussian blur to these elements to make them appear more realistic. I noticed that Ryan isn't standing out as much as I'd like, so I'll paint some shadows behind him to give him more prominence. Now it's time to address Ryan's face. I've previously created a tutorial on skin smoothing and face adjustments, which you can find in the description below. 
I'll fast forward through this part and return to you shortly. And also guys, I don't usually do this in my tutorials, but if you want me to keep posting these videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Your support really encourages me to create more content and motivates me to um, expand our community. Okay, now that I'm done with the skin retouching, I'll make his shirt black. To do that, I'll create a vibrance layer and then use the pen tool to make a selection around his shirt. Once I've made my selection, I'll use a white brush to paint on the areas, making sure that the vibrance layer is clipped to the other layers. To darken the shirt further, I'll create an exposure layer and decrease the exposure while increasing the gamma. Then I'll duplicate the vibrance layer mask onto the exposure layer mask. Additionally, I'll change the blending mode to soft light to ensure it blends perfectly with the shirt's textures. Now I'll select all of Ryan's layers and merge them into one layer so I can make some color adjustments to his face using the camera raw filter. To add more dynamism to the thumbnail, I'll duplicate his face layer and apply an inner glow effect to it. Then using a soft eraser, I'll remove any unwanted areas. Now let's create the iOS widget or texting area. First I'll create a rectangle behind the McDonald's restaurant and then round its corners. Next, I'll create the McDonald's profile picture. After that, I found a font called Font Spring that seems very similar to the one used by Ryan. Let's use it for now and write the words McDonald's. Next, I'll add the verified icon like this. I believe this size should work perfectly. Now I'll, I'll create the text box. Honestly, I think these steps are straightforward, and anyone can do them in Photoshop. Let's write something like, we love it. I just came up with something random, inspired by this thumbnail. Once that's done, I'll drag and drop this hamburger iOS emoji into here. I think something like this looks good. And for added realism, I'll include the words just sent now. Now to shift the focus more towards the middle of the thumbnail, I'll apply this vignette effect just like this and reduce the opacity until I'm satisfied with the result. Next, like I'll add some color correction. Like there's nothing too special here, just brightening it up, increasing saturation and tweaking some colors here and there. And that's it everyone. Here's a quick and easy tutorial on how to create Ryan Trahan thumbnails in Photoshop. As always, the PSD file is in the description. And if you want to learn how to create thumbnails like Iman Gaji, be sure to check out this video. See you in the next episode. Peace.